you will need to go to Google. Can we all see Google? Yes. Now, you will need to download all the icons one by one. Are we together? Yes, sir. Or, you know what? Scratch that. The thing is, you will need to download the icons together, basically. So these icons, eh, the people that release them online, they release them together. So let me search for something. Contact icons. Can we see what I just searched for? Yeah. Contact icons. Now, you look for the one that says PNG. Can you see it? Why yeah. are we looking for the one that says PNG? So that we can... No background. He has no background. Exactly. We are looking for the one that has no background. That's why we are saying PNG. Now, if I'm looking for Facebook, Twitter logos, I will say social icons. But this one, I need contact icons. That's phone number, email. I don't, do you get understand? Hello? We are with you. Do you understand me? That's what I'm searching for, contact icons. So anything icon that you're looking for online, just search for it, but add PNG at the back. Are we together? Yes. You must always add PNG at the back. So now I will search for contact icons, PNG. Now, and I will go to images. Can you see this? You don't go to all, you go to images. So can we see it? Yes. So now, let's say I want, uh, I like this one. Can you see this one? Hello, everybody. Can we see this one? Yes. This one has phone. It has mail. It has yeah. a, a whole lot of things, right? Hello. We are with you. Yes. Right. One second, please. Uh, okay. I want to see which other icon we have. Okay, so it has phone and it has mail. So those are the first two I need. But it doesn't have address. Um, so I will need to use this one. Now, can you see this one as everything? Yeah, yeah. This one has phone, it has mail, it has website, and it has address. Can you see? Yeah. Yes. I'll select, I'll select this one. So I'm going to download this one. Now, what do I do? I option and say save image. Are we together? See, yes. save page. So I'll save it on my computer. Are we all doing it on our own end too? Yes. Now, make sure you save it or download it or what have you onto your system. Make sure you find a picture that is good enough for now you will know that a picture has no background can we see the checkered box in the middle of this picture the background that is checkered yes 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 that is what that is a sign of showing that something has no background can you see like in the middle of it there's a checker box yeah like a draft, like a draft board this is what tells you that a picture has no background if it doesn't have this, then that means the picture has a background. Do we understand? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So now that I've downloaded it, what do I do? What did I teach us? If you, you go to the picture, yeah, you drag it. Yeah. Then you drag it. Then you drag it. What? You go to the. Down, then you drag. The... So can you see? It? See it yes. here. Then what do I do? You drag. Can you see that I'm dragging my own? Can you see that automatically it becomes a layer and I press enter? Can you see? Yes. Can you see now that it is there? Yes. Good. Now, the, what's the next thing you do? You need to change the color. Can you see that the color doesn't fit what you want to do because it's color black? I'm yes. sure some of us want, us in, want it in blue, some of us want it in white, right? Hello? Yeah, with you. Some of us want it in blue, some of us want it in white, right? Yes. All right. So what do you do now? 
and you see uh, can you see effects can and then all of us see effects look down under the school bag section can yes, you see effects? Effects. yes. Effects. make sure that uh, look the icons make sure it is highlighted then go to fx click on it can you see some yes yes can you see some options now you look for the one that says color overlay. Okay. Color overlay. Now okay for that color overlay. Okay, my side. I'll color overlay. Such as Have you clicked on color overlay? Yes. Did the menu come out? Hello? One minute. Color overlay. Okay, we are still downloading, Abby. Download is it the same? Still trying to sort it out. Okay. So first of all, drag and drop it into Photoshop. When you drag and drop it, finish. Let me know. Sir. Yes, please. We noticed. I noticed something that um when I dragged and dropped, I noticed that I could no longer find my um school bag. So I'm guessing it's either I um I actually okay. like. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I, I'm trying to see how you. To, yes, like it disappeared. So it went down. Look at my screen. Can you see this button? Which which year of Photoshop are you using? Um, 2020. Oh, fantastic! So just look at my mouse. I'm guessing okay, you are using the Mac, right? See this place? Yes, sir. Just go there and click on Essentials. Okay. Then reset Essentials. Oh, okay. Did you come back? Uh, yes. All yes. Right. yes, I've seen it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Have you finished downloading and putting? Yes, I've dragged it to the. I want to make sure everybody has finished dragging. You know. Has everybody gotten it there? Now, the issue in our hands is two things. We want to recolor it and we want to split it and rearrange uh, it, right? Yes, yes. We want to recolor it, then divide it because it's one. We want to make it into pieces, right? So the yes. first thing you do, we want to first recolor it, right? Or either we, you can split it first, then recolor it, or you can recolor it and recolor it later. Let me quickly teach us how to split it. Are we together? We'll go by one by one and splitting it. What do you use? Now, can everybody see the second tool? Yes, the second one that looks like a net, like a line, like a line box. Yes. yes. Can everybody see it? Yes, sir. Now, that tool eh, is like, can you even see that image? The tutorial they are showing you here is like for a tailor. It's when the tailor is using it to cut something out of something. Do you get it? It's what a tailor uses to cut out something out of something. Select it. The second tool. Yes. The one that looks like a line box. All right, good. So now, what do we do? You select your you see this one you make sure it is selected though the, uh, the icon picture you make sure it's selected then you just do this you will draw a box over the first one you want to split let's say you want to first of all split the full you will draw a box over it can you see can you see that the box is moving have you drawn your own yes is the box moving? Like, is it active? 
Hello. Yes. 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 All right. Yes. What you will not do is press Ctrl J. Did it create a new layer? Yes, it did. Aha. Uh -huh. Good. Thank you very much. Now, has everybody done? Did you create a new layer for us? Like my own. See. Did you create a new layer? Not yet. Oh. After using the marquee, uh, marquee two. Two. What am so I supposed to add? Yes. Drive. After drawing the box, what Ctrl else? J. Ctrl J. Ctrl J. Okay. Once you press it, it should create an automatic new layer. Yes, it did. Thank you. Now, did it create for every other person? I want to be sure it created for everybody. Working on it, sir. Okay. Yes, it, it created. It created. I want to make sure everybody has that. Yes, created. Yes. So can we move forward? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now, we'll go back to that same layer again, the first one, not the new layer, the previous one, the one you downloaded, you go back to it again. You draw the second one. You can see that this one is for address. You draw it again. And what will you press again? Control J. I'm asking everybody. Control, what you Control J. Control J again. Can you see that it has created another layer? Yeah, yeah. Then you go back again to the layer again. You draw the one for email. And what do you press again? Control J. Can you see that we have three new layers? Yes. Then what do you do? You go back to that first one and you delete it. Have we deleted it? So now, after doing that, you wash your hand. After using that to finish, you wash your hand. Very important. Has everybody washed their hand? Like, are you done with, uh, do you have three new layers? Yes. Yes, yes. Now, try moving them one by one. You see that they can now move individually. Try moving them one by one. You see they can now move individually. Try moving them one by one. Is it moving? Is it moving? Okay, good. So can yes, you see that we have split them? Yes, sir. So now I've shown us how to put a picture into uh, Photoshop and how to divide them. So everybody can clap for each other. You've done a great job. This, this thing that I just taught you now is very hard. It took me two years to learn it. Too. Thank you very much. So, uh, so that is sorted. Making money now. Thank you. So now, the next thing is now we want to color it right to the colors that we prefer, right? Hello. Yeah, with you, sir. So Hello, sir. We can hear you, sir. Uh -huh. So you go to the first one, like one by one. You go there one by one. You click on the first one. There is, can you see FX in the school bag area, FX? Yes. Click on that FX. Then you will look for color overlay in the options. Click on it. And everybody click on color overlay. Yes, sir. Now, did you bring down the menu like this? Yes, sir. Yes, it did. You brought the menu. Now, can you see the color no. box beside normal? Can you see the color box beside normal? Yes. Yes. Now, sir. click on it and change the color. So, can you see? You can move it. So, move it away so that you can see the color properly. Then you click on it and change it. Is it changing on your end? 
Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Good. Yes, sir. So do that for each of them one by one. One by one. You get one. After selecting the color, click on OK. Click on OK again. Go to the next one. FX. Color overlay. Blah, 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 blah. If you have any issues or questions, let me know. We are here for you. Let me know, please. Yes. Click on one layer, go to FX, color overlay. So that FX means effects. So now, has everybody colored their own? Yes, sir. So can you all resize it to where it is supposed to be? Like in the places where you want it to be, in front of the phone number, in front of the image, blah, 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 blah. My whole space you... seems to be smaller. Resizing eh? is um, it's complicating somehow. I don't understand, though. Make me understand. As in, um, I try to make the phone icon very small so that it can fit into the circle I already created uh, for it to fit in into. But well, making it very small, as in um, the well, the size of screen that I started with the 2000 by 2000 seems not to, you know. But no, 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 I no, think no. I need that's to zoom out. Or is it to case. zoom in? It's small. It doesn't matter. See, okay. you going to, can you look at my screen? You are going to yes, resize, can see. even if it's as small as this. Yes. You are still going to leave it like that. Okay. Just decide, just place it where it's supposed to be in front of the phone number, like the way it was okay. in the okay. assignment. Okay. Copy. All right. Thank you. All right. So everybody should resize their own. Excuse me, sir. I have a question to ask. Shoot. All the files I've been trying to download from um, Google, they um, save as PNG files, but every time I try to copy it to Photoshop, it tells me this is not a PNG file. Uh, so the issue is, okay, yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, you wait for the TikTok to load, it to load before you, like, once you click on the picture, you let it load for like one minute before you download. This is not a PNG file, it's because it has not even, like, the picture did not load finish, so it didn't download completely. Or you change your browser if you're still doing that. Okay, thank you. All right. For the logo, I said download it from Canva in PNG and just drag and drop it into Photoshop. Okay. Now, for those asking, I should recap the logo. I said once you've downloaded the logo from Canva, all you need to do is drag and drop it inside Photoshop like this. Drag it into Photoshop. It will enter. Press enter. Then to resize it, wash your hand. That first two. And drag it from the corner. To resize. If you download a PNG picture and it's still having issues, download another one. That means that picture is not original PNG. There's a lot of fake PNG out there. Please. Notes. So I want to show us how to export. Once you are done designing, click on File. First of all, save your document to... Then click on File. Can we all see my screen? Okay. So can you see it now? The Save Our Screen. Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Format. You will click on it and you will look for JPEG. You will look for JPEG. Can you see JPEG? Yes. Yes. You click on JPEG. Right? Then you click on, you will carry it to where do you want to save it. So create a folder on your desktop and say GIZ training or something. Create a new folder on your desktop so that that's where you'll be saving everything. Do we understand? Then when you are done, then you save it there. Rename it, then save it. Exactly. 
it will cause fights if you don't submit to export in JPEG and send to that email address. Thank you very much. Let me go over how to save it again for the benefit of those that didn't see. Once you are done designing, you go to file. You go to file. Once you go to file, you click on save as. Can you see save as? Then you click on it. Right? Then a menu will come out. Now, once that menu comes out, you will go to format. See format. You click on it. Then you look for JPEG. JPEG. Then you click on JPEG. Then you rename your file, whatever name you want to do it, assignments, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Then you save it in a, any folder that you want to save it. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Now, someone is asking, how do we identify original PNG image? Now, go back to your browser. See, eh? any picture that for you to identify an original JPEG and PNG. Now, when you are browsing it, it will first have a white background. Can you see the screen? When you are browsing it, it will first have a white background. Then when you load it, it will become a transparent background. Now, this one, it did not become transparent, so it's fake. Oh. But, see this, but see this one now. Let's say this one. This one has a white background, right? Can you see this one? Yes. It. But when you click on it, it will load. Can you see it's loading? Now, once yes. you finish loading, it still has a white background. It is a fake PNG. Do you understand? I've, I've downloaded like like three, and then I have the same issue. Wait, nah. Be patient. All the pictures that are downloading, they're very small. So just be patient, please. <laughs> Once you you have to look for the one that has original background. So see, let's say I click on this one now. You wait for it to load. This one too is fake. Uh, uh, say let's click this one. This one too is rubbish. Um, So, uh, once I notice that the thing is becoming stubborn, hmm? can you see that this one is becoming stubborn? Do you know what I always do? Guys, can you listen? Do you know what I always do? Hello? We are listening, sir. Yeah, we are with you. Instead of wasting your time downloading this one, you will not download it. Do you know what you just do? You see this icon here? Can you see this icon here? Yes, yes. sir. You will just click on it. It will take you to the website to not download it. Now, can we all see my screen? Can you see that it has taken me to the website? Yes. Then you just click on download. So now, the picture has downloaded. If I go to my downloads folder, I said, if it is wasting your time, right, you must not download one that has a white background. So you just click on the website. Can we all see the screen? Hello? Yes, can we see yes, the yes. You click on the website, like I told us, and you will see download button, then you download. Exactly. That's how you download the original thing. Are we together? 